which meant that no one gets through the airport, everyone getting doors and home. Please let me go through. I have my ticket and I have been waiting in line. I'm next in line. I'm sorry, ma'am. The sirens have gone off and no one is to pass through. Besides, you're pregnant, you shouldn't fly anyways. Of course, with a little bit of cash and a look that could burn through glass. The woman said, you take this and believe me, I will have this baby in Canada. A few seconds of a stare down, which felt like an eternity, Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and most welcome guest, that woman on December 7th, 1984, with her husband, gave birth to their first child, the first child of four, me. Growing up in a large family with, filled with enormous amounts of love and, laughter, and enough laughter to burn your half day's calories, I could not have asked for a better childhood. My father, who due to circumstances did not attend a school, my mother is well educated, both worked day and night to make sure all of, our ch all of their children had access to exceptional education. <coughs> Going to a private Christian school, which wasn't so diverse at that time, made it difficult. We were ridiculed by both our family and friends for reading the Lord's daily prayer and the Bible. It was the first challenge my siblings and I had encountered, a challenge that had, to, had a toll on some of my siblings, and for me, made me question my identity and faith. With all that confusion going on, I told my siblings, believe me, it will all be okay. And today, we are surrounded by a diverse group of friends which we learn from and expand our knowledge from and have fantastic dinners over discuss have, have fantastic discussions over dinner. That ridicule at that time was worth it. Starting my late teens and early twenties, that laughter and good times in my childhood was slowly dissipated. A horrific car accident with good old man Winter that made waking up for the next day a nightmare and being diagnosed with severe endometriosis Erased, that had erased the concept of motherhood from my memory, I remember looking in the mirror at one point and t pushing myself to say, believe me, you are a strong person. And today, I am running after my 11-month-old baby. Obtaining my honors degree in law and continuing on to law school, <coughs> Sorry. I work at a boutique firm in Toronto. And believe me, not all lawyers are clandestine. <laughs> Life was so slowly falling into place, except my best friend, my first love, was gone. Having gone our separate ways to fulfill our own goals and dreams, I had to settle my mind. I was just going to settle. But I believed in the power of true love. Today, my soulmate is the one who put a ring on my finger. Who am I, fellow Toastmasters? I am a daughter, I am a sister, an entrepreneur, a lawyer, a wife, and a mother. And despite my condition today with my throat, I am still a believer. Thank you.